What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and I'm going to be showing you the BIOS on MSI's Z170A SLI Plus motherboard. Now this is MSI's Click BIOS 5. This BIOS should be pretty much the same across all of MSI's Z170 motherboards. Now depending on the series of motherboard you have, it's going to be skinned differently, but for the Pro Series it should look like this. So it is pretty easy to move around. Of course you have full access with your mouse as well as your keyboard if you want. Um, so up top we have our OC Genie 4. Um, it's turned off right now. If I click it, it instantly will overclock the system um, based on your processor, which is kind of nice if you're a first time you know, overclocker. This is an easy way to get a nice little overclock if you want. And then XMP support. The memory we have installed does not have XMP support, but if it did, um, you could turn XMP on or off easily right here. Over here, let's just know our speed, our DDR speed, our uh, CPU temperature, as well as motherboard temperature. Um, our boot priority is right here, so and you can easily just, see I can just change these around like that. Very easy to do. And then everything else is listed over here. Our BIOS version, our BIOS build date, uh, uh, you know voltages what what process are running of course our motherboard now the first thing you can go you have all these different settings around the center here so we'll go into settings first and um, you have system status advanced boot security and save and exit so system status just it's like basically like your main window here and this is going to tell you your your date time um, what what uh, hard drives you have connected and some of your system information and all of that and what's cool is that as as you hover over things over here it gives you help and uh, some information so you can kind of see what's going on if you're not sure what a setting is um, the help will definitely help you out with that um, under advanced we have all of your settings to do with the motherboard that doesn't have to do with overclocking or your CPU or your memory so everything like Thunderbolt USB uh, integrated peripherals, everything here you can go ahead and set up. And we're not going to go into each one, but that is, you know, everybody who's dealt with a BIOS knows what's in those. Under boot, we can go ahead and, you know, have a full screen logo display. Um, you can disable and enable different things. And of course, you can, you can set your boot device priorities here if you want, instead of doing it up here. Under security, it just allows us to install an administrator password as well as a user password and uh, the case intrusion configuration if you have a case that has that. And then of course we can go ahead and save and exit. Now if you're gonna be doing any type of overclocking or anything like that, you're definitely gonna wanna go into the OC. And here, we can go ahead and set our OC Explorer mode um, to allow for overclocking. and of course set our CPU ratios and all of that. Of course with our memory you can set your frequency um, and you can go in and set your advanced uh, rate, your timings and everything like that all in here. So if you want to auto set your timings you can or you can go ahead and set them yourself if you want to. Um, and then all your vol voltage settings are down here and you can actually set your load light calibration um, You can change it to mode. There's only auto and mode one, but you can set all of those yourself And then down here you can see your CPU specification. So all of the uh, You know information on the processor yourself. You can go ahead and see right here And if we go to CPU technology support It just shows you what's enabled and all the technologies that are actually on the processor itself and we can go to memory Z and that will show you the SPD information of each one of your sticks of memory. So you can see right there. And then CPU features is all the features that are on the processor itself. And you might want to enable disable these depending on what you're doing. You know, you can turn the C states off if you want, for, if you don't want low power mode and things like that. Obviously you can turn Intel Turbo Boost on and off, things like that. You can all go ahead and set everything within this menu here. Of course, M flash, um, we're not going to go into it, but that just allows you to easily flash your BIOS. So if you know you need to update the latest BIOS, this will allow you to easily do that through your uh, through a flash drive. You just load the BIOS on there and go ahead and use M Flash to do it. We'll get out of all this, and we have OC profiles, so you can actually uh, save up to six profiles on the BIOS itself, and you can load and save from a USB as well. So if you have a BIOS. Uh, profile you know you're working on something and one of your friends might have the same motherboard and he's you know got this awesome overclock he can actually save it and you can load it on your BIOS yourself which is pretty cool 
hardware monitor. We have a full hardware monitor, and as you can see, it has a nice little interface here. So we can actually see our CPU fan and how fast it's running. We can see our CPU temperature, our system temperature, and it's all moving in real time here, which is kind of cool. You can see all of that. Um, you know, we can see our system fan and all of that. And you can set the different fan modes and everything. And down here, we can see our voltages, which is pretty cool too. So you have everything here in real time, real time which I like. You just have everything right here. Nice little interface to make it really easy to access. So you have all of that right there. And then we have our board explorer. And our board explorer is kind of cool. It basically allows you to kind of see what's going on in your system. So if we hover over our uh, CPU, we can see that we have our Core i7-6700K installed. If we hover over, oh, that goes like a little thing here. If we hover over our SATA ports, we can see that we have a Kingston drive installed and then obviously nothing else in any of these ones. Um, we can hover over our power and we can see we do have ATX 12 volt power. USB, uh, nothing is connected to that currently. So you can see that nothing's there on the back. You know, we can see certain things that are connected. Like we have a uh, 100 meg line for our internet. We have a USB port in there. You know, we have HDMI being used, things like that. You can just, you know, it just shows you and it shows you that you can see everything, um, you know, on the board. If you're kind of curious, you're a first time builder, you're not sure what this stuff does, you know, we can go over here to our graphics card and you can see we have an NVIDIA uh, graphics card in there. So it's pretty cool that you can go ahead and see all of that. Now, everything is pretty basic and pretty to the point with this BIOS. It makes it really easy to go ahead and do. Um, so this is like the advanced mode. Now there is an easy mode and it kind of just changes things just a little bit. Um, so easy mode, uh, we were just in, I mean advanced mode, we were just in. Easy mode is a lot easier. So everything to do with the CPU is right here. Um, you can see all the information. Memory, of course you can see all of that information. Um, storage you can see all that information the fan info and you can see the info on the different fans and you can go in here and there's help and it gives you just all your hotkeys and all of that um, and you can just turn things on and off really quickly in the easy mode too so you know you can turn your LAN ROM off you can turn fast boot on or off we can see we have AHCI mode on and we have air HD audio controller on you can turn those off as well um, and you can see all that stuff. You have your favorites here. Your favorites also can be accessed from right up here, but in the easy mode, they're here. And you can add favorites um, in here. So you can easily add favorites into this section. So we'll go back, we'll go to advanced mode. But if we go to our favorites here, we can add different things to your favorites. Um, so if you have something that you're changing all the time, you can easily just put in your favorites so you don't have to dig down in the menu. Even though the menus aren't necessarily that hard to get to, it's just easy to have them as your favorites. Of course, F12 takes a screenshot, and of course you can change the language as well. Like I said, it is a pretty easy BIOS to get around not super in depth or anything like that, which I like, but it does give you all of the settings that you want. So if you're going to be doing any overclocking, of course, you're going to be in the OC setting and all of that. If you're going to be changing anything, um, you're just going to go to your advanced here. And, you know, if you can turn on Thunderbolt, um, we can turn on the integrated graphics if we want. You know, we can change the USB configuration. We can do all of that. It's very easy to go through. It's not super flashy or anything like that, which I like. It does give you the graphical hardware monitor, which I do like as well. But everything else is pretty easy and to the point. That's that's what makes this BIOS great. Um, so if you have any questions about this BIOS, this is MSI's Click BIOS 5 on their Z170A SLI Plus. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Until next time, catch you guys later. Thank you.